Hey there, Commanders. We've got a bit of an interesting community goal reward this week. I don't I haven't been doing these lately because the rewards have been a little bit boring, but this one, um, there's multiple things that you can try to go after. I'm going to go off over each one of them so that you can understand the, the context of the different options that are on offer this week. Uh, there are three goals to be concerned with. The first is a Disrupt Azimuth's Resource Campaign. The second is a Protect Azimuth Deliveries Campaign. And the third is an Azimuth Biotech Seeks to Expand Operational Assets Campaign. This is a pretty stereotypical commodities collection and is the most interesting of the three because it offers something called the Mubuni Permit. For those who don't know, if you want to be able to purchase enhanced azimuth weapons at any time, you need the Mumbrony permit because there is a mega ship in that system that always has them on offer. It's a special tech broker. You do have to collect some unique things in order to get each weapon. And every collection cycle will only give you one weapon per cycle. This isn't like the other tech broker unlocks where you are purchasing a permanent permission to buy that module whenever you want. You are instead trading particular resources for a single instance of the weapon. Now I've had a chance to play with most of Azimuth's experimental weapons and the Gauss cannon is really the main thing you want to be worried about. The shard cannon is a little bit interesting, um, but not as like, it's really, it's the Gauss cannon. If you're fighting Thargoids, that's the thing that most people care about and that most people are interested in going after. The other two weapons can be helpful for certain heart exertion scenarios, but are, they're not as good as the Gauss cannon unfortunately. Now, the interesting odd little duck in this campaign is the Disrupt Azimuth Resources Rapid Fire Fixed Mount Class 2 Multi-Cannon. The reason why I think this is interesting is because Rapid Fire isn't a blueprint we see on offer very often, but unfortunately it is not the most desirable blueprint for multi-cannons. Because they are kinetic weapons, you have a limited ammunition reserve, and rapid fire makes you cook that reserve a lot faster. I happen to love rapid fire on pulse lasers because you have infinite ammo and the higher fire rate makes it very good at sub-targeting systems in a ship. If you want to specifically disable targets or be uh, effective at hitting uh, certain subsystems without using a, a, a rail gun, then rapid fire makes that easier because it gives you more rolls to do internal damage per second. But that's about the only thing rapid fire does. It actually decreases your damage per individual shot, but the increase in fire rate means that you get about as much DPS increase overall as if you overcharged a particular weapon. So and they're meant to be very, very close to each other in terms of final damage output. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like it on multi-cannons because even, I mean, it just makes you burn through your ammo too quickly. Um, it reduces your combat endurance significantly. So nobody uses this for PVP and in PVE, it means that you're constantly having to either synthesize more ammo or return to the nearest resupply point to get more. Uh, the Protect Azimuth Deliveries mission has an interest, a more interesting reward between the two and that is a class two overcharged guardian plasma charger essentially a plasma charger that does more damage and if I remember correctly actually has much higher shot speeds compared to a regular guardian plasma charger. Um, all of the azimuth engineering blueprints on offer in the Mubuni system have specifically attempted to address the major weaknesses in a weapon. Um, for guardian plasma chargers the shot speed was the biggest downside. Um, it made it very difficult to hit anything uh, with a stock Guardian Plasma Charger. So the Guardian Charger from Azimuth has a higher shot speed and much higher damage. This can make it more useful for heart exertions, but unfortunately in the Class 2 size, it just doesn't get used very often. There aren't very many builds that can apply this better than the Gauss Cannon from Azimuth would be able to do in the same size two slot. So the vast majority of anti-Thargoid builds are going to favor the Gauss Cannon from Azimuth over the Guardian Plasma Charger from Azimuth. Uh, which means that even though this is the better of the two rewards, if you happen to already have Mubuni Permit, 
it should not be the thing that you focus on. If you do not have the Mubuntu permit on offer from the operational assets CG, this should be your major goal this week. It should be the thing that you focus on. It's given to the top 75% of contributors, and thankfully that's achievable in basically a load and a half from a Type 9, which amounts to maybe two hours of gameplay for somebody who's not used to running cargo. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can knock this out in an hour, maybe a little bit less, especially if you're using your fleet carrier as a uh, dump truck. Um, I would be a little bit careful with logistics as um, CG systems tend to load up with fleet carriers very quickly. But if you've got an Imperial Cutter or a Type 9 or an Anaconda and you're just running back and forth direct to your systems, this is going to be doable in a single night of gameplay pretty easily and should set you up for the rest of the week, barring an unanticipated surge in interest or activity. Um, at time of recording, Inara is estimating 72% completion by the time the CG's uh, weekly limit expires. I would expect this to ramp up a little bit, though I don't expect demand to be something like the... Uh, size 5 frame shift drives that they were giving out last year where the entire thing completed in less than 48 hours. This is probably going to run most of the week. Um, but again, if you don't have the Mubuni permit, you definitely want to give this one or maybe two nights just to really lock in your slot. If you have the Mubuni permit, then you don't really need to be worried about the overcharged Guardian Plasma Charger because you'll be able to buy that from the mega ship in the Mubuni system basically whenever you get the blueprint ingredients together. And I wouldn't be worried about the rapid fire multi cannon at all. It's just not a compelling reward, and it's probably going to throw off whatever build that you stick it on. Even if you happen to get two of them, I'm much more enthusiastic about rapid fire energy weapons than I am about kinetics. So um, I would, if your time is limited, go ahead and pass on the multi cannon and on the overcharged guardian plasma charger and get that Mumbuni permit. It's one of the more valuable permits in the game. And it's not something, at least at time of recording, that you can get whenever you want. Now, this does have a stipulation that if Azimuth gets its goal, the mega ship that they're going to build outside of the Mubuni system will allow you to rank up with Azimuth and eventually earn the Mubuni permit. That's a permanent change, which makes this uh, expand operational assets community goal even more desirable. I would expect this to be the thing that most players focus on. And if you don't have this permit, it should definitely be the thing that you pour most of your time in. Lock yourself in a good position before you worry about these other two goals. Um, and if you really want to shoot for something else of these two, I would get the overcharged Guardian Plasma Charger before you go after the Rapid Fire Multi-Cannon. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for today, so I will catch you guys later.